What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Innistrad Supreme Draft. Ah, yes. Good times. Good times. Counter target spell. You may cast a spell that shares a card type from your hand. Meh. Uh, Skirt's Snake Flare was actually pretty decent in the format. Chosen of Markov, Fires of Undeath. Grave Tiller Worm as an 8 8 is pretty decent. Six mana, a little slow. Hmm. It might just be fires and flare. Or fires and tragic slip. Just start with two removals. Fires does kind of put us in black red, but not really, because we don't have to flash it back. Three mana shock is nothing super exciting though, so if you're not flashing it back, like clearly not as good. What up, Mossy Bread? <clears throat> I don't know. It's not Counter Lash. It's not Blood Feud. It could be Flare. It could be Worm Tiller. Grave Tiller. Not Worm Tiller. It's not Tilling the Worms. What up, Jimmy? Jimmy, I responded to your email. So, I'm gonna take... Uh, we could just stay black and take Skurs Dag and Tragic Slip as well. Hmm. I don't hate that, actually. In fact, I kind of like that. Doesn't commit us to a second color. It takes two solid removal spells. Olvenwald Hydra is pretty decent. Um, so it's called a Bloodline, and it lets us pick up Madness cards pretty early. Jimmy, sounds great, buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah, let's take Hydra. This is interesting. If we have your answer with a four more card, like this, this is just a four four for three. We're definitely taking Alvinold Hydra or uh, Call the Bloodline. Yeah, this seems good. Compulsion's good, but there's a lot of removal in this format. Oh, and Lumberknot is super sweet. Lumberknot's really hard to deal with. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's take Lumberknot. And probably Alvinwald Mist, because these guys turning into 5-5 five, five Regenerators is pretty solid. Uh, Creeping Renaissance is fine, but I'm not like... It's kind of slow, and I'd much rather have the the, the the decent card, basically. I'm going to take a Rabid Bite. Not to be confused with a Rabbit Bite, which is nowhere near as... Uh... So this is like... It's basically like... Um, Gift of Paradise, but instead of life, you investigate, so you get a card. Which is not bad. I think we're going to take Alter Ego in case we want to splash. Being able to splash one blue card shouldn't be too hard. And, you know, it's Sultai, guys. So, what problem is? Interestingly enough, Thornhide Wolves is actually pretty good. So is Rancid Rats. Actually, Slayer's Plate is actually insane. Um, I don't know how many humans we're going to have, but this guy's human first side of this is a human yeah this card's just bananas and like even if even if you don't have humans like plus four plus two is just such an insane buff um now it's either like rancid rats or thornhide wolves i think thornhide wolves being a four or five is just very very good i don't think we need a second call the bloodline I do like Chosen of Markov, but I don't know how consistent... I guess we have called Bloodline so far. That's not terrible. Torturer is also an option. So is Gravecrawler. I don't think we have a single zombie, though. Effin Slayer's Plate! I think it's Chosen of Markov. Turning into a 4-4 four, four for 3 is just good. And I think we can get more Vampires. Discard two. Dawn Trader does help us with the splash, and I like having two drops, so I'll take that guy. Farbog Flicker is a zombie. I really actually like Scorn Villager. I think being able to ramp in this format is really good, and if they just don't play anything on the turn you play this, you get to go from two to five. It's kind of like Devoted Druid. I'm going to take Villager, and I'll also just take Farbog Flinger. Dark Salvation. Target player creates X two twos, then up to one target. Yeah, this card's nuts. 
like, and then another creature gets negative one, negative one. So you're basically like, you kill a guy. Like, so for five mana, you get two, two, twos, and something gets a negative four, negative four. Oh, for each zombie, so negative three, negative two, negative two. But still, never, nevertheless, this card is very, very strong. And I'll take Boon of Emrakul, because it's removal. I also wouldn't mind taking, like, certain death, but Boon is good. Hmm... This pack's pretty bad. <laughs> um, Thraven Doomsayer is nice. Somberwall Dryad's probably fine. And I don't know if I even mind Grave Purge. It's like, at end of turn, just draw draw a creature from your graveyard. Like, draw back Elvenwald Hider or get, like, two guys back. I think that's actually fine. There can be some poop packs. That's fine. I'm going to take Interloper because it not only does it flip our Chosen of Markov, but it's a solid two drop again. And probably Grizzled Outcasts. Or Galvanic Juggernaut, actually. Hmm. Actually, I think I like Juggernaut better. 5-5 <laughs> five, five for 4 is better than a 4-4 four, four for 5, for sure. Uh, I don't think we want to... I don't think we care about tutoring here. Although these packs are not super impressive for us. Man, Reap, <laughs> Reap the Sea Graph is funny. It's one 2-2 two, two zombie for three mana when you have like both Moan of the Unhallowed and the other one that's got Madness. Uh, I don't love Pilgrim. I feel like like the ramp creatures have to have a, a decent upside for limited, and you know, and as far as I'm concerned, like I just don't want to draw it late. And unless you have it on turn one, I don't feel like it's super effective. But like Scorn Villager can still flip and be a two-two Vigilance, so I'll take the ambition. And we'll take another elk. Just in case. Interesting. Bloodbriar. How much sacrifice do we have? We have Dawn Treader and Skurz Tag Flare so far. Not a ton. It's still two through for three. Hmm. Could just take Campaign of Vengeance in case you want to splash white instead. Yeah, I'll take Bloodbriar. I, I think Prying Questions is kind of meh. Borrowed Malevolence could be decent. I'm going to take Campaign. This pack's real sad. Um... Well, if we're playing white, I'm going to take Guard and probably Cloistered Youth. Oh, Gatstaff Shepherd is great. Oh, so is Moon of the Unhallowed. All right, yeah, now we're talking. Gatstaff and Moon. That's real sweet. Um, I also don't mind Hinterland Logger, especially because it turns into... It's a, it's a human, so like we could eventually sack it too. Flare. Remember that? There's damage. Exile a creature and opponent controls. Meh. Hmm. Take aim high on logger. Permeating Mass, 1-3 for 1. When it deals combat damage to a creature, that creature becomes a copy of Permeating Mass. Foil Collective Brutality. Um, 6-4 for 8. When you cast it, they lose 3 and you gain 3. There's another drag there's a Dragoon, which is another uh, Madness Outlet, but we really don't have much Madness to begin with. Same with Collective Brutality. Where are, my mad Where are the Madness cards? Two packs left after this. Hmm. There's another vampire, actually. I'm going to take this because it makes Chosen Markov better. Oh, what up, Matthew? And I'll just take Collective Brutality. It's a removal spell. Bow body with the... <laughs> oh, man. Super Fritz with the bow body. We're making acronyms. Bow body. 
Hey, it's Elk Tears from NYC. Hey, Elk Tears, how you doing, buddy? Your voice sounds a little high today. That's interesting. Oh, you know me, brah. I want to think Midnight Scavengers. What's the last pack, actually? I don't think we have a chance to hit. We do. There's another Eldritch Moon. We have one more chance to hit a Graph Rat. I kind of just like Lash Weed Lurker here. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just take Lurker. Oh, dang it. We didn't hit a rat. Sad days. Sad days. I don't have a rat. That's okay. I also don't have really effective ways to splash other than like Dawn Treader Elk. Um, I think we can take Mockery because I like having this ability. And I also kind of like want the, the good Prowler here. All right. Black Green deck seems... Dece. I think we can take out the elk because we're not splashing here. Um, plus, like as far as humans go, we have human, 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 human. I also kind of want to take a call to bloodline just because we don't have anything to discard to it. So, I mean, it gives us something to do with our mana, but like, I don't think it's that good by itself. Plus, this is like this deck seems pretty decent. I could see adding Collector Brutality. We actually don't have that much removal, right? We have this guy, this guy, Boon, Tragic Slip, Flare. Eh, it's all right, actually. I mean, we have a bunch of big dudes, so. So 9-8, sure. That sounds fine. Actually, we definitely want... <laughs> we have double green, double green, and then we have green cards that we definitely want to cast on these two, so we're going to actually play one more green. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's see what this... El Drain is Spanish for the drain. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Also, guys, we only have 15 units placed, so we can definitely do better. I believe in all of you. Ooh, this hand's good. If we hit a black source, it's real good. We have one, two, four, five. Stop mixing these up. I went to six. Wow, two francs. The Frank mirror match. Oh, my bad. I got here late. <laughs> Typical. See, when you're in the sandwich mines for too long, your head just gets all messed up, you know? Come on, Black Source. We hit our perfect three drops, so... <laughs> you know, that's cool. Interesting. I wonder if they block here. Cool. Yeah, I didn't think they were gonna. Didn't think they were gonna block though. It's my rock and roll fantasy. Man, if only I had a black land, then I they this guy wouldn't have they didn't play anything. That's fascinating. Well, I'm definitely gonna boon here. Or we can play interloper, wait a turn, and then lumber knot. My big concern is that they have like a a flashy, like a Briar Alpha or something to block. Oh, man. 
Sometimes you just know. It's just definitely a situation where, like, if, if we kill this, they still just play their guy and we still don't get in there. So it's like... Do they just have a handful of flash creatures or what? Hmm, they didn't kill anything in response to that, which is nice. I'm also just not <laughs> going to attack here. They have six mana and they didn't play anything, so like... And now we have Boon to kill the Briar Pack Alpha and like Farbog Flinger to kill the the other wolf. Plus, if we lose either Vampire or Prowler, we just get to get it back with. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty good. 100% blocking here. Hmm, neg two, neg two, huh? Just get Prowler back. I feel like Prowler has the better upside. For six mana, we get a four four. So what are the odds they have, whatever, I'm just going to block here. Yeah, they said I'm so sorry after seven. that was exactly when they said it, yeah. Um, what are the odds they have Brimstone Volley? 100%, right? They always have it. Sure, I'll go to four and you can just kill me because if they have Brimstone Volley, we there's no way to win. Like. They just have an inevitability because we can't keep our life total above five for the rest of the game. So, yeah, fucking of course. So we predicted Brimstone Volley. We predicted the stupid Briar Pack Alpha. That's good. <sighs> Exhaustingly good. Collective Brutality actually seems pretty decent here. It's funny because our deck seems really strong unless, you know, we play all, we play three one toughness creatures and then they have a. You know, a card that kills them all. <laughs> Other than that, though, real strong. 
Actually, maybe Mockery is a good card. I'll bring in Mockery. And just like submit. Sure. I feel like these cards are moving weirdly today. Like, I'm going to put it in the middle here, put it over here, put it over here, this here. Oh, what up, Chor Didn't Kermit, didn't you just resub? Yeah, Kermit subscribed for 29 months two days ago. Kermit subscribed for 30 months right now. That's super weird. My subbing and my notifications are out of sync. That's so weird. I don't know what's wrong with Twitch. Oh, it's an Olvenwald captive. Oh, that's real good. You know what? I'm not going to attack. I was thinking of attacking, but they could easily double block. But then we can get rid of this guy, I guess. I don't know if that's any good. It's like how they tell me a few times a week that you still stream on Twitch. Well, I do still stream on Twitch, yeah. That's not incorrect. I think we could have gotten in two free points there. Unfortunately, we have no real way to get through here. I'm definitely not discarding anything just to give this guy flying, so. It's my rock and roll fantasy. What should I spend my 200k channel points on? Oh, you know. I was kind of hoping for a land there, especially a green land, because then we could uh, could kill this. But now we have literal nothing to play here. So I'm just going to hit OK. Try to hit a land here, because that seems way more important than just... Okie dokie. Well... On the bright side, this guy does not flip, this guy does not flip, and we don't draw this next turn. Oh, now their guys are flipping. If they're not flipping, end of turn, you're going to do something. You're going to activate, end of turn. Okay. Can't believe I got you live. Love watching your vods. Dude, True Joey, thank you for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. Did they whiff? Oh, interesting. Okay, see, now we're talking. Because now we got a bony boy to hit their little, their little captive boy. And that's just a 3 2. Sure. I mean, Hydra next turn's pretty good. It's a 7-7 seven, seven if we hit a land. And if we don't hit a land, we can't cast it, so it's not as good. We hit a land. Okay. Also, Elvenwald Hydra helps us fix if we want to splash one, like one of the white cards or one of the blue cards. So that's pretty sweet. I like when Elvenwald Hydra came out. It was like a fixed, uh, what's it called? What's that dude called? Primeval Titan. Okay, Solitary Hunter seems fine, if not super exciting. This is a 7-7, seven, seven, so they can block it with 3-4, three, 3-3, three, 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 and then I get to kill, like, well, two guys. It's always going to be two guys, I guess. So 8-8, eight, eight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, still, still blocks with 3. 
three, four, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So we still get still two for one, but. They could also just not play anything. Like, even if we play two things this turn and they don't play anything. Yeah, sure. I think I'll trade for your two best guys. They're just taking it. Fascinating. Well, let's flip their guys back. Not really super concerned with having no cards in hand because our board's pretty decent, so. Guys, we have one minute and only 32 dudes on the board in Stream Raiders. I think we're going to actually get our asses kicked here. This looks pretty brutal, actually. Hmm. Oh, we just win the game. All right. Well, this, is, this has been an interesting two matches so far. I think we're just submitting. I think our deck is sweet. I kind of like having tricks, like aim high. Alright, we're up to 35 and we still have a minute left. So, do what you guys gotta do. We still got a minute. keep this hand because I feel like we can draw things we have all the colors we want we do have a removal spell we have a pretty pretty sweet wolf here so Oh, you guys can't see the hand because I because I did not put the stream raiders down. My deepest apologies, gentlemen and ladies. Oh, yeah, the battle's ready. We got forty. That's not. I do not have high hopes, huh? If you guys haven't watched the new Borat movie, I definitely recommend it. Interesting. So we can go Boon into Slayer into Thorn Hide Wolves into Rabbit Bite. It's loud on stream or loud on your own on your own personal computer. Uh, 
Okay, well, this is a hell of a... I might just kill this guy, because I don't think the one mana ramp is really going to be super relevant. And I don't really take, take four until, you know, like, I don't want to go 12 in the next two turns. do anything. Fascinating. Well, we still have Tragic Slip and we next time we can play Wolves. Pretty decent. Are they going to flash in a 3-3? They might. Yep, they are. Okie dokie. It's going to cost seven to flip, so next turn they can't do it, but the turn after that they can use it to flip it. Sure. It's loud coming out of your stream. Is that loud for anybody else? It doesn't seem that loud. I can lower it, I guess. I assume. Battle music will go down to like 50. I can't hear it. Well, it was like one time. Put five counters. Okie dokie. Well, Tragic Slip not looking as good here. Well, it's weird. Like, why would it just be you, though? You know, like, why would it just be louder on your computer than... Hmm. If only Tragic Slip had a morbid thing. Is Katie's new car going to make an appearance? Hmm. I don't think so. But only because, you know. So one thing we can do here that's interesting is play Dryad. This was a this is a decent turn. And it's cost what seven to five, six, seven, and they have five and no creature and one card in hand. That's pretty good. Slayer's plate as a making this a six four with far forest walk seems pretty good. Good grief. What does this do? Return a creature at random to your hand? Interesting. Okay, so we know your wolf, your wolves and one other card. I mean, if we draw like a three drop, we'll probably just play that and equip the plate. Okay. I mean, because next turn this is eight damage if they don't block. No, it's ten damage if they don't block. It's a two turn clock. You know, can you get Momir in this format? More Mormir? What are you saying right now? Kerwood's drunk. I mean, being able to put this on the guy next turn is pretty bad. What is it, 10 counters? Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh boy. Well, that's rough. <sighs> yeah. I mean, they have to have a land. <laughs> It's 14 damage. No, I know what you meant. I knew you meant Momir, but I don't know what that means. Can you get Momir in this format? What is that? I don't even know what that means. All right, they're at 10.
All right, so if they didn't kill, we should have we should have actually moved the equipment over because it lets us. No, nah, I guess it lets us trade, not block profitably, unfortunately. I mean, they have all seven, so we have to chump block, and then they take eight. And if we draw a blocker, then we just get them. Yep, it's pretty good. I mean, if we draw, like, Moan of the Unhollowed, it's pretty bananas. <sighs> eh. Comically, that does work. So what is this, 8, 9, 10... Your petulance has ruined my facetiousness. Hmm. Do you want a Supreme Momir draft where you just draft the lands? Is that what you're saying right now? One, two, three, four, five. We're going to Farbog Flinger here. And like this actually avoids um, Brimstone Volley as well, which is pretty good. Because now they have to have Morbid, so they can't actually... However, <laughs> they can attack, kill this guy, and then Morbid kill this guy. That's that's rough. I guess just don't draw a Brimstone Volley. Yikes. Okay, we're just in a chump blocking battle here, I guess. That guy's good, but he's got a chump if we... Come on, 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 come on. Okay. Well, we don't even have to equip here. Like, this is just lethal. And then we can play this guy and equip it. And then when it dies, we get a 1-1 one, one spirit, which is probably lethal. <laughs> so that's pretty good. And if they don't actually kill it... Oh, this guy only costs two. We actually could have equipped, but that doesn't do anything anyway, so. Don't have removal in response. They did not. So I feel like we're in good shape here. I don't know what they can have here that would kill this guy and not... Oh, I guess if they kill it pre-combat, we have to block with the token. But then they have to have removal and a creature, so... I mean, we've been running relatively hot with these draws, but... Mayor of Avabrook. Okay. It's my rock and roll fantasy. Do do do. Well, well, well. When does this guy make wolves? <sighs> they are keeping us. Uh, can we sack flyer to itself? Well, yeah, we can sack flare to itself for sure. Two, three, four, sack a human. Plus, getting this guy off the board is really vital. Of 
And now again, they have to block. Man, Skurzdag Flare doing the Lord's work here. All right. Double lethal on board. Don't know how you can get out of this one, but we'll see. They might say good games, so I'm preemptively prepping the good games. Yeah, Slayer's Plate, uh, pretty insane. Oh, they have conceded. No good games were had. Alright, let's do it again. Who's dressing up as Nightmare Spider following myself? I'm partial to pepperoni pizza wrap. <laughs> oh, man. You gotta go to your local Spirit Halloween store and get, uh... You gotta get all the... The Nightmare Spider costumes. That was a solid first match. I mean, eh, this hand's keepable. One land away from this, two land away from this. We have two two drops. Without a ton of madness cards, like we're mostly just playing this to like sneak in a few extra damage in the late game if we need to close things out or to uh, tap. Um, to get Markov's Chosen flipped. <sighs> okay. They thought twice. I mean, I'm more concerned with putting a guy on the board than flipping this into a 4-2, so. Everything in the ice, huh? Okie dokie. Wow, and you just milled me. It's weird. I cannot believe you've done this. Don't think about that too long. Makes no sense. Done. So four islands. This is kind of wild. You got it. Kind of awkward that they dream twist our tragic slip, which is one of the best ways to deal with this guy. Silent departure. Instead of on a zombie, huh? I mean, they could just Silent Departure again next turn. Hmm, that's awkward. They could also flash this back. Yep, this guy's definitely coming down here. Is it even worth Thornhide Wolfsing here? Kind of, because they still have to waste the card. 
sure. Uh, that's annoying. I'm also not sure how we deal with 7-8. None of these are horrors, right? Nope, I guess not. Yep. It's pretty, pretty funny. Should I play our mills two cards? Sure. You've got it. One, two, three, four, five. Silent Departure is a sorcery, so let's kind of see what kind of trickeration they have in store for us. Oh, they still have Silent Departure, so that's cool. Amazing. Yep, must be nice. Lost in the Mist. Let's take Collective Brutality. Take out Bloodbriar. Wow, look at that hat. Look at that wizard's hat. That's wild. <laughs> y'all I'm so proud of the joke I made please clap I was clapping you couldn't see it but I was it was happening I wonder how many thing in the ices they have how many do you think I have to get in the wow they hit my slayer's plate that's rude that's rude as hell. You got it. They have my Hydra now? Jeez, Hail Hydra. So this guy doesn't do anything unless they have Delirium. And I have Boon of Emrakul. You got it. Sounds good. Can you Just gonna pass here so we can flip our scorned villager. And we can still grave purge the Hydra on top of the library, which is pretty decent. Or the Farbog Flinger. Or both, you know? Oh, Curse of Bloody... That's unfortunate, because now... I guess we have to do it during our upkeep, which is kind of annoying. I 
Yeah, if something's uh, tapped and it transforms, it transforms tapped. So Grave Purge, uh, we put two cards and then we mill two, so that doesn't do anything. But Grave Purge is actually pretty sweet mill protection. Oh, what up, Badger? You got it. And they did nothing. Wow, we just milled two lands and drew another land. Last turn we milled two lands and drew a land again, so... That's cool. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. <laughs> I feel like they just have lost in the mist in up, which costs five mana, which means they can't really play other things and keep up. Remember, it blocks or becomes blocked. Does three hundred percent creature and three hundred percent sure. Hmm. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Next time we can actually get Hydra and play Hydra. Power becomes blocks or it comes blocks. So like even if we attack, like they we can't attack and boon it. Oh, we didn't draw it. <laughs> oh, okay, good. That was better than drawing just a creature. So we can actually go grave purge four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can go grave purge on Hydra, put Hydra back. We can also put the other two back, because they will get milled and then put like flare on the bottom. So we're gonna say one, two, three, four, one, two, three. The first card click will be the last card drawn. So you, and then you, and you, and you. Oh, we're gonna shuffle anyway. Why did we do that? That was so stupid. I guess it's not that stupid. It still puts cards back in the deck. Mossy Beard, have a good night, buddy. Always appreciate you, my dude. Um, yeah, two lands left in the deck, so. What turn is it? Sevens, so we should have eight lands. Yeah, all right. That's about right. Yep, that's pretty good. So if we blocked with like four guys, they would all die and we would take 12. That's pretty insane. Five, six, seven, eight. Target player creates zombie tokens. You. Choose the one creature. You. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Done. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's nice. That's a... That's a juicy one. Yeah, let's trade. Sure, sounds good. Uh, 
Reno's on my condo. <laughs> Who talks like that? Are you guys getting some Reno's done? Oh, they conceded. That's nice. At the beginning of each... Is this each player's upkeep? Because that's insane. Each opponent's upkeep. Okay. Okay, I just want to go to... Oh, begin sideboarding. That's what we got. I was like, why are we going back? Um. So here's the thing, guys. Let's bring in this. This. And this. Bring in island. Island. Trade. Bring in Dawn Treader Elk. Probably for Prowler. So now I have like six sources of green. I don't think I can drop more units, right? I can only drop one unit, right? As the captain, I think I can only drop one unit. Yeah, otherwise I'd be dropping units like crazy. Buddy, I'll drop fat beats, don't you tell me. Come on, Black Source. Oh, Gatstaff Shepard's real good, though. Alright, well, we got two two plays to make, at least. Oh, goody. Goody. Make a fake account and use that to drop units. Huh. I'm sure the upside on that is completely worth it. Oh, good. You bounced my guy. Super nice. Black source? Land? Land at all. Any land I'll take. I want to play this because if they don't play anything, we just rabbit bite and kill this, which is more important to me than. Oh, they! Oh, wow! This is happening. Oh boy! I wish I had a land though. That would be cool. Oh man, getting rid of that was friggin' phenomenal. So if we know they have lost, it just bounces our guy, right? And it puts us really far back. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. Sure. That's also very good. Well, it's only turn six, guys. Missing four land drops is totally reasonable when you have 19 lands in your deck. I learned that with Raid Shadow Legends. What happened with Raid Shadow Legends? What did you do? My fucking god, come on, dude. This is miserable. <laughs> oh no, I know that, but did anything happen to you?
<laughs> They'd have to extradite you to America so you can go to trial. Go to America jail. Oh, look, another. Another land, another. Look at this hand. Black, 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 green. I'm just going to pass here. We could play Shepherd again, but like they have five mana up, so I'm good. I mean, they could just. Okay, they didn't cast anything. They would. The U.S. is petty like that. Buddy, you ain't kidding. That's a true story that you just said. This guy's a real piece of shit attacking me. Unfortunately, Morbid doesn't trigger if somebody gets bounced to our hand, only when they die. And unfortunately, we don't have a black source, so. You know, seven turns, four missed land drops, and no second color. Watch, we're going to run island. You ready? You heard it here first. Island off the top. Sure. You got it. Yep. Wow, swamp on an island off the top. So I wasn't incorrect. <laughs> That's great. That's just quality, dude. Oh, man. Just love it. Well, it's fun watching my opponent cast spells. Just kidding. It's not. <laughs> so if we if we take it we take five if we block we take three so and lose a guy so it's basically a trample <laughs> i guess two more lands two swamps huh so i can draw that sounds good fucking that's actually amazing so we milled one two three four five lands Mills two cards. Wait, what did... So these are the two we milled. Oh, they thought they thought scoured us. Yeah, so cool. They milled one, two, three, four, five lands. Seems good. Seems good. And by good, I mean shit, but what can you do? Let's see if we can do the old, uh, do the old 2 1. A classic. Glad to see my guy was a big dumb idiot. It's true. Uh, we'll keep it. We're on the draw. They went to six. We have three drops of plenty and a removal. So that's all you really need. Tragic slip. I don't know how good it is in this format. Okay. Oh, that's real good with chosen of Markov.
Don't kill my interloper, bro. Okay, interloper survives. So, human on one side, vampire on the other. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Get in there for two. Somebody's going to die. No. No one died. Oh, they're both going to die now. Neither one died. Oh, boy. This is beautiful. Slayer's plate. Slayer. We're just going to tap this now. Oh, God. Not during combat. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. Let's not do that. Because I don't have to respond with, like, deal two damage. But, if they do that, we can block. So, it's, like, this is a this is a, this is a good decision matrix here. Where you get to either decide whether you want to risk losing this. Or taking two, or three, or other. I'm just gonna flip now. I don't think the three is gonna matter in the long run. Famous last words. And uh, having a 4 4 on board is probably better. <laughs> okay. I mean, we can actually get that back with Midnight Scavenger, so it's actually not terrible. Okay. Sure. <laughs> oh, boy. God, how many fucking new scraps mobs I end up seeing in these games is unbelievable to me. Like every black, almost like literally seventy-five percent of the black opponents have new scraps, new scraps mob. It's pretty wild. They have no cards in hand. Okay, that's not terrible for us. I need to get one more zombie, but that beats getting two more zombies. So we're basically trading uh, Rabbit Bite for the potential of them getting two more zombies out of it. So that's... We could equip here, but this is already going to block anything profitably now anyway. So now we can actually equip this here next turn. If we don't hit a land, or we can just play Midnight Scavengers, I guess, but. Okay, we are doing well. Now we're not going to equip because obvious reasons. Yeah, let's get another black. No attacks. They could just block with 1 2 2 and a 4 3, and it's just not a great trade. So four, five, six, seven, eight. They'd have to block with three. Now they'd have to block with four. They could just chump block too. Yeah. Notice, if you will, he does not have trample; just reach. Really trying to fix the. Uh... No, we don't have we don't have any graph rats. Kindly stranger. 
when it transforms you may destroy a creature you have three card types in your in your grave yard right now huh sure Let's get back in our loper here. And at the risk of flipping this one timber shredder, we're just going to play in our loper because next turn this is just a 6 3. And that's pretty big. Fascinating. Wonder what they were going to do there. Um. Hmm. How did they get the original zombies? Newscraft. That's right. God, I almost kind of like Altered Ego in here. I just think the mana is like not. It's just not needed. Yeah, I'll just play it. Despite not having black, this hand actually looks fine. There needs to be more badger cards. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Ooh, Scorned Villager into Lumberknot seems good. Into Elvenwald Mystics and Hinterland Logger if this guy flips. I would play that no matter how bad it was. Well, currently your your badger cards are just elves, because that's what you play no matter how bad they are. But I like that. I like that you you like what you like, and then that's like that's still enjoyable magic, you know. Like I like that's what I, one of the things I love about magic is that like there's so many ways to play the game. I will not block. Secret layer badger. <laughs> oh man. Good times. Oh see, there you go. Now you've got it. Hmm. Actually I might just want Juggernaut here. <laughs> I feel like this puts a lot of pressure on them and also like Um Lumberknot does not seem super defensive here, so. Discarding this and then activating it here, that's pretty good. Wait, what happened? What just happened? How did we win that game? They chose not to cast it. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore, manusraiders.com, where you'll get 15% off a uh, subscription of any kind for the first three months. And uh, you can also you can also check out nordvpn.org slash franklapore, where you'll get 68% off to your subscription and one month free. All of those are great ways to support the channel. You can find links down below. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.